Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with MacDSP and this is the new MacDSP APB16. 16 channels of glorious analog processing in a box. Hence we called it the Analog Processing Box. Who knew? In this video, we're going to look at mixing and processing some drums using the APB16 and the new MuX Mixer plugin. So let's dive over into Pro Tools and get started. So here we are over in Pro Tools and I have my 14 tracks of drums. Yes, I did say 14. That's three kicks, an in and out and a sub, snare top and bottom, a hat, five toms. Yes, that's five toms, a ride and a stereo pair of overheads and they then feed into six subgroups. Kick sub, snare sub, a hat sub. Yes, I've created a hat sub, even though there's only one thing feeding it. Tom sub, ride sub, again, only one thing feeding it. Overhead sub, and a main stereo master. On those stereo subs, I've instantiated the MuX mixer. Now all I have to do is set up the routing assignment. So on kick sub one, I'm gonna assign that to channel one of the MuX. And you've guessed it, snare is going to be channel two and so on. Then finally on the stereo bus, we have the stereo master channel. Then hey presto and voila, we have the Moo X mixer, all beautifully populated. Now down here we have a scribble strip, which is very cool. So I'm gonna call this the kick, snare, hat, toms, ride, overheads, and big one, just because I like the way it sounds. Now, one of the cool things about the MuX mixer is it's acting like an internal, external summing mixer. So we have lots of loveliness. We've got EQ, saturation, compression. We have a time constant control for the compressor following the whole kind of very Mu Fairchild kind of idea. A master volume, we can solo each channel, we can mute them as we go through. And we have a really lovely retro meter. What's also cool is if I put this into target mode and I bring up the kick plugin on the MuX mixer, you can see anything I do on one is reflected on the other, which is really very cool. And past that, it's now just a case of dialing in the sound that we want. So let's start with the kick drum. I've already got the kick mix set up in my Pro Tools session. I know I like a lot of the inside, not so much of the outside and a fair bit of sub. That mix is of course feeding into the kick subgroup and then I've got the MuX mixer on there. So let's solo that up and dial in a sound. Kick the EQ in. Nice. Tiny bit of saturation. Some compression. Not too much. To compensate or bring the gain down. Nice. Snares. Again, let's kick the EQ in. Bit to the top end. Snares love saturation. Bit of compression. Nice. Okay, let's EQ in. Cut that bottom end. Bit of saturation again, a little bit of compression. Okay, let me find a point in the track where there are some toms. Nice. It really 
really fattens up the tom sound. To me, that's really important. Now, in my humble opinion, most of the drum sound comes from a combination of the kick drum and the overheads. So we have to be really careful to get this bang on. So let's solo that up and have a quick listen. Boost some top end. Bit of compression. Put the kick drum in there as well. Add the snare. Nice. Okay, and that's find a point in the track where that ride symbol is. Because again, it can be so important just to get a really nice little ping from the ride symbol. Now we can bring that up if we want to. Nice, I like that. Let's hear that in context with the rest of the track. Tom sound amazing. That is probably the best Tom sound I've ever managed to get out of that kit. Now, the final part of the MUX mixer is the master bus compressor, which lives in the master channel. And although I don't want to go the full slam on this thing, I do want to dial it in so we can hear it and kind of feel it in the track. I'll start with it on, as we have been, as we've been mixing through, and take it out and have a listen to what it's doing. I'm really happy with how this drum track has come out. I know it looks like we've gone all retro and gone very minimal, but the EQ inside the MUX mixer is really powerful. It's very simple, but it's very powerful. Saturation sounds great, especially on the snare drum where you want that sizzle and a bit of crack. The compressor is very natural, but really easy to dial in and go hard with if you want to. Then the bus compressor just sits there and finishes it all off. However, the thing you forget about is that this thing is adding a an analog sound to your mix even before you start dialing in with EQ, saturation and compression. It's doing an analog thing. It's making it sound more real. So what I'm going to do now is just play the track through. I'll bypass the MUX mixer a few times so you can hear before and after. So there you go, I think I found the new tool that I'm going to use to add that secret source, that secret analogue source, if you will, to my mixes. And it's right here, the MUX mixer. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>